Sex Positive Podcast, episode 15. Please enjoy a Community Spotlight podcast featuring Lindsay Jo Scott. You can check out her entrepreneurial endeavors at mytradesofhope.com slash Lindsay Jo Scott. It's L-I-N-D-S-E-Y Joe J-O Scott S-C-O-T-T. Please enjoy the rest of this episode, and I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Sex Positive Podcast is a podcast about dating, sex, love, and relationships. Please go on to our Patreon page, which is Patreon slash Sex Positive Podcast, and support us. As well, you can check us out on Stitcher, SoundCloud, and YouTube. Thank you very much for checking out our podcast, and please help support us by sharing and liking and commenting. And if you have topics that you would like to talk about or comments, please email us at sexpositivepodcast at gmail.com. That's sexpositivepodcast at gmail.com. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Lindsay Jo Scott, and I am a compassion entrepreneur with Trades of Hope. I'm here today to share a bit with you, and I'm excited and happy to be here, so uh, thanks for having me on. At Trades of Hope, we are empowering women to create sustainable businesses worldwide, and we do this by partnering with artisans and organizations both here in the United States and around the world um, to provide a channel for women and their families to break the cycle of poverty and embrace a better life. Um, Our heart is really to help women and men um, to realize their potential as business owners and dreamers and world changers and heroes of their own story. So as a company, Trades of Hope, we were started in 2010 by two mother-daughter groups who had an idea to create a business that would empower and give jobs to women around the world. So we empower women and families by marketing their handmade, fair trade, jewelry, accessory, and home decor items through the home party business model. Um, And we've also recently become an official member of the Direct Sales Association, too, so it's pretty exciting. Um, And in this way... Uh, We work with independent, compassion entrepreneurs, such as myself, who work to sell beautiful, fair trade things that are made by women around the world who are overcoming difficult situations. And through these sustainable businesses, our artisans are able to provide for their children, escape sexual exploitation, create hopeful futures for themselves and their families and their communities, And it's uh, truly um, a dignified partnership, you know, women helping women. Um, And through our partnerships, our artisans are paid a fair livable wage, which means that these women can make an income of four to six times what they would make if they were working in their own communities, Um, which is crazy to think, you know, in a world where 40% of the population exists on less than $2 a day, Fair trade wages are are truly changing entire communities, and the income that these women earn through their work provides resources to be able to put food on their tables, a roof over their heads, clean water for their villages, medical care and education for their children, and really so much more. Um, So I... I'm really excited and honored to share some of these stories with you briefly because I know that the more people that know about Trades of Hope, the more that our artisans thrive. Um, And the artisans that we work with live both here in the United States and all over the world. We currently partner with 20 different groups in 14 different countries. And, you know, just like you and me, um, these women don't want charity or a handout. 
they desire the opportunity to thrive, to grow, um, to find meaning and purpose in their work, and and really to become their best selves. Um, the women that we work with are um, women in Haiti who make our incredible cereal box beads and also our decor items from recycled oil drums. And these women, through our partnerships, are now able to afford to keep their children instead of giving them up to an orphanage. We also partner with women who have been victims of acid attacks in Cambodia um, who are not able to find a job or a safe place to live, but we work with them so that they can, and they are now learning a trade of crocheting and knitting while also gaining dignity and healing and hope. We partner with mothers in Uganda who, um, by making bracelets, can now pay for their children's education and can open bank accounts and also pay for their own HIV medical care. Um, and we also partner with uh, groups here in the United States, as I mentioned, including you know, young women in California who have been uh, rescued from commercial sex trafficking in our own country um, who are learning that they are cherished and redeemed while making glass necklaces and earrings. What's truly inspiring, too, is that as these women rise out of poverty, they're bringing others with them. So we've learned from statistics that by empowering just one woman out of poverty, at least four others are impacted, including her family and her community. So last year, in 2014, we employed just over 6,500 artisans working in these 14 different countries. And as a result, we learned that we impacted close to 27,000 lives. Um, this is sort of overwhelming to me and I think really exemplifies this ripple effect of change. I'm excited to say too that we are on track to triple these numbers um, this year in 2015, and I'm eager to see this continue to grow and grow as we spread the word and grow as a company too. And working with Trades of Hope as an independent compassion entrepreneur has really been a gift to me. Um, this has become my career. I also work as an artist and a yoga instructor from my home, but um, working with Trades of Hope is a beautiful thing because it has given me not only a sense of purpose and meaning, but also it has enriched my life and my family's life and um, allowed me this opportunity to connect with my community and find new hope and healing in my own heart and my own life. Um, and as a compassion entrepreneur, I have the opportunity to help women around the world also find hope and healing and redemption by selling their beautiful handmade things through home, online, and catalog parties, and also through events. And I feel like it, it is such a privilege to be able to share these stories and to do something that matters on a global scale every day. And I'm humbled by the opportunity to earn an income um, through this work for my family, too. I think it's uh, a really beautiful thing um, when I can, you know, earn an income for my family in the same way that um, my friends and these women in Haiti and Costa Rica and Cambodia and Nepal and India can, can do the same thing in the same way. Um, it's, a, it's a really cool partnership that we have through Trades of Hope. Um, just this spring, actually, in May of 2015, I had the opportunity to travel to Costa Rica on a vision trip with a small group of women from Trades of Hope to meet several of our artisans there. And um, more than anything, during my time there, I, I think I realized, you know, not only the value of this work, but also the power of our purchases. Um, many of our items for Trades of Hope retail for under $30, and sometimes it seems, you know, so simple to purchase something like this, but truly it is making an incredible impact. And I'm so crazy grateful to work for a company like Trades of Hope and to partner with women in such a dignified way. Um, and during my time in Costa Rica, it was really cool to sit down 
beside these women who make some of my favorite pieces and to learn the process, to sit with them at their workbench, but also to communicate to them how this work has impacted my life too. You know, this is not um, a charity work. It's not just me helping them, but um, it's them helping me too. Um, And that is pride and that is dignity. And also, um, in my experience in Costa Rica, you know, as I was leaving, I was encouraged to know that in leaving, my impact doesn't end, but that I was, you know, returning home and I'm home now working for these women. Um, And it's a really empowering thing for me, too. Um, I guess, in conclusion, I... um, I know that I can't do this alone, and I've learned that along this journey that we can do great things when we do them together. Um, So I hope um, that you've been inspired a little bit, and I hope that you will join me in this movement, really, to empower women and to bring light to the darkest places. I know that um, change is a big machine, and... If we come together in all our tiny parts, we can make a big difference. I think it's true that, you know, we we belong to each other. And as we join together, I think that we help heal each other too. So here's how you can help if you want to be part of Trades of Hope. You can shop our beautiful handmade fair trade jewelry, accessory, and home decor items by visiting my online shop at www mytradesofhope.com slash Lindsay Jo Scott. Um, my name is spelled L-I-N-D-S-E-Y-J-O-S-C-O-T-T. When you purchase a handmade artisan piece from Trades of Hope, you are helping to provide food and water, home, education, and new hope for women around the world. Uh, you can also Um, Partner with me by inviting me to host a Trades of Hope show or event with your friends and family at your home, um, at your workplace, your office, or even in your favorite cafe to help spread the word and double your impact. Of course, um, as a token of gratitude, you'll also be rewarded with some free fair trade things too, which is fun. And lastly, if you're interested in the income opportunity, you can become a compassion entrepreneur like me and add your voice to this movement. I think for me, I am grateful for this opportunity, not only because of the ways that it's enriched my life, but also because I've been able in a way to put myself in these women's shoes and think, um, you know, if the tables were turned, that... I hope that there would be someone like me with my opportunity who would use her or his voice on my behalf um, and partner with me to to share my voice and advocate for me. So if you're interested in becoming a compassion entrepreneur and, and joining our team, you will be advocating for women and families and working to make a difference every single day. So I think that's all I have for now, but I um, thank you again for inviting me to be a part of this. And I've loved sharing these things with you and would love to share more if you are compelled by this vision and and would like to know more. Um, You can learn more on my website that I mentioned. Again, www.mytradesofhope.com slash Scott. You can contact me there or also by emailing me at lindsayjoe.tradesofhope at gmail.com. Thank you again for listening. Have a good one. Bye.